Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to another Linux Quest video. So things are changing in the Linux world. Um, in the last video we talked about Chrome OS and the ability to run Linux apps. You know, I've, I'm again given that two trains of thought. Some people aren't thrilled about it. Uh, it looks like from the comments, the majority of you are excited that Chrome OS will be running Linux apps, and time will tell how that's implemented. But look forward to seeing that. So this is a video kind of related to that. And while this is not new. Uh, or you know breaking news uh, this is from Android police and I've actually watched this video earlier and uh, they mentioned here that it was updated we're gonna take a look at a video that explains how Samsung has implemented full Linux OS capability from your phone now this is not running in a VM okay this is going to be using the Linux kernel uh, so we're gonna scroll down here and take a look at this uh, we'll watch a short portion of this video, but I want to talk about this from the standpoint of you're, we're talking about living in a world now where you can take your Samsung Galaxy S8 or your S9, whatever the um, latest series is, it'll be the Note 9, things like that, and through the Samsung DeX, be it the DeX Station or what's new and coming, which is the DeX Pad. And by the way, that's going to be at the Linux Quest Lair this coming week. So I am so stoked to start sharing with you uh, Samsung DeX videos because we're talking about running your phone as your OS. And now we're talking about uh, running the full Linux operating system on your phone. So uh, they go on to talk about um, OSs like Ubuntu, Debian, Arch-based Linux distros that are going to run with no emulation or virtualization invo involved. Um, they say presumably it's going to use chroot similar to Crouton on Chrome OS. And this is going to allow you to, of course, have full access to Linux apps. And we've got a video here where they're talking about that. So I'm going to run some of this video. And then I want to talk about a few other things that kind of back up my reason for being excited about this. And so let's go ahead and click play. That's always been one of my pet peeves because honestly, I use this thing for everything. So you're going to see a video pop up here in just a moment. Creation, you need a full set of tools and you need a full blown OS. So most developers carry around several laptops and their phone, um, other mobile devices. And now we have the option of running the entire Linux stack on the DeX. This is Linux. Full Linux. Here it on, is. Full-blown Linux. Um, on that phone. Now you have a device that you can develop on. And leave your laptop at home. And I think there'll okay. be... I think you've got GIMP running there. Uh, processor. You saw Firefox. Yeah, there's GIMP. Full Eclipse. What this really offers to enterprises is no compromise on your desktop. So now all of a sudden you can truly do your entire work from the phone. It's very simple to deploy. It's very simple for it. Now, while that's excellent for developers, uh, just as someone like myself, an enthusiast, uh, or I'm sure many of you who are into this kind of thing about you know, having access to your favorite Linux apps from your phone, you, I mean, how could you not be excited about that? So I'm happy for all of us here. Now, what that means for Samsung, and I think they're moving in the right direction, uh, they're leapfrogging above, in my opinion, Apple, and they've certainly jumped way ahead of what Microsoft was trying to do uh, with Continuum and that kind of thing, because now you've got a full um, Android-based operating system as your OS, much like Chrome OS, and in the same vein that Chrome OS is tying Linux apps in, now Samsung is pulling in the ability to run not just Linux apps, but a full Linux operating system. And it's not going to be in a VM or some, uh, you know, wrapper wrapped world, so to speak. It's going to be running natively. Now, why I'm excited even more so than just the prospect of, hey, all this working together is because performance is key here. So, you know, let's face it, if you could pull up Ubuntu, for example, and see everything you need to see, but it runs like a dog, then what good is it? Well, that's where I've been digging into several forums, and I've uh, read several posts where developers who have used this already on their S8s have made comment to the fact that this runs incredibly well. In fact, um, everyone was very impressed with how well 
um, the Linux distribution of their choice, and I think uh, one was speaking specifically to Ubuntu, ran on this system or ran on their phone. They were able to use all of their applications. Someone mentioned opening, I think, 16 different apps within Linux and uh, was still able to function and bounce from window to window. And I mean, this is, to me, just amazing. So very hopeful that this all comes through the way it should. And maybe we'll find out next week how successful this is. I've got to figure out how this is implemented and how to get everything set up. But obviously, I'm looking forward to sharing that with all of you. And uh, I say kudos to Samsung. You keep rolling because... This is something that enthusiasts like many of you are, I know you are, uh, we need to embrace this kind of thing because it. I think it just helps the growth of Linux generally. That's my take. And uh, I know many of you see things differently, or several of you have remarked you know, from previous posts, you're just not real happy about direction, this particular direction, because you think it pulls away from you know, Linux desktop. Uh, but again, let's not forget that Android and Chrome OS are Linux operating systems. They're using the Linux kernel. So, you know, I think if you put that in one big circle, it's all positive for Linux. So anyway, just my take. Always appreciate you watching, and I hope this is informative, and we will check you later.